BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one. Today's topic is cult heroes. Cult. <laughs> uh, a dying breed in the modern game. Uh, you know the type, special players with their own songs and nicknames, sometimes gifted, sometimes unpredictable. Uh, always adored by fans and fellow players alike. Uh, before we even talk about the candidates um, for our top ten, Alan Shearer and Micah Richards, um, what do we mean by cult hero? Someone who is revered by their fans for forever. Uh, they sing about... That would make you a cult hero. <laughs> a cult, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, who, someone who they sing about years and years and years after they've left the football club, yeah. who's made a huge impact on, their, on, their, on that football club. So why aren't you in this list? That's a very good question. I think I you've got to have a bit of personality as that's well. That's a though, good you? point as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Micah. I'm flabbergasted I'm not on the list, well, to be I, honest. I am now. I'm flabbergasted. Uh, maybe it's because you're so mixed up in what you are. You know, Arsenal fan, <laughs> Manchester City fan, Leeds fan. Born in Birmingham. Villa. <laughs> Born yeah. in Birmingham. I've been everywhere. Maybe it's that. You are, yeah. Um, so what's a cult? Someone just to... A character, personality. Yeah. You know, someone who makes you want to watch football, even though they're not even... They don't have to be that great. Not always the best player. Yeah. But someone who you just admire watching. Sounds like you're talking about yourself. I know, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly why I thought I'd be in here. Yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, we'd, obviously, we're given these top ten by... Who knows? <laughs> um, and um, you're always entitled to um, go for your own and, and disagree with various things, but, you know, obviously these subject matters are not something that are that important, really. Just a bit of fun. Um, right. Here's our shortlist in um, no particular order. Uh, Paolo Di Canio, of course. Um, uh, we've gone for uh, when he was at West Ham. Uh, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer at, at Manchester United. David Ginlaw, who you would have played with at Newcastle, yep. Alan. Um, this will surprise you. Paul Gascoigne. <laughs> Gaza, uh, wherever he played. Um, Eric Cantona, naturally at Manchester United. Mario Balotelli. Mario. One for Mike. We look forward to those stories. Um, at Manchester City. JJ Okocha uh, at Bolton. Um, Matt Letizia spent his life at um, Southampton. Wonderful player, of course. Chris Waddle um, at Sheffield Wednesday, they've, they've gone for it. Could have been, obviously, Newcastle or Tottenham as well. Um, and then another Newcastle player um, who I've heard you tell stories about before, Faustino Asprilla. Um, so let's get your 10 to 6 first. This, OK, this I, I, was, I wanted to throw in uh, Gabby Agbonglahor into that mix. He was uh, Just because he's, he's loved by the, the yeah. Villa fans, he was there all his career. He didn't yeah. make the... the the top ten, but I think it was nice, uh, a verbal him. And my my love-hate relationship with Zabaleta, I thought he might have been in there. What was your hate relationship? Really? Because he kept you out of the so team. It's just... <laughs> it, Is that why, though? It pains me, to be honest. It, why? Because he came and he was a holding midfielder. And then he was playing left-back, yeah. right-back, utility man. But then he worked harder than any other player I've ever seen. Well, that so that's some, why I respect that, that So that's why I respect oh, him. That's why I respect, that's respect, I respect him. Yeah. But then he, he took my place in the team. Uh, and then not only that, not he, score, he, no. score, he scores in against QPR. So I'm on the bench. I'm on the bench thinking, right? In the, in the title no, deciding the, the, game. Yeah, against yeah. QPR, title deciding. Whoever scores, I'm not bothered. And normally, they bring a defender on. Mancini used to go to fight at the back, which you will know. As soon as he winning 1-0, bring a defender weren't on. weren't winning. Exactly. Until... Well, we still, we still, yeah, until, yeah, until <laughs> late doors. So I'm thinking, anyone else but Zabaleta today? I don't care who scores, just not Zabaleta. Is that what... why you retired? He retired me. <laughs> I thought it was injury. <laughs> <laughs> and who scores the first goal? That's not... I thought that was just a striker's thing. Cause, I mean, we've all, you know, when... You know, say for England, yeah. for example. I mean, it's human nature. When you're watching England play and you're not, you know, trying to break in the team or something, 
and the player up front, you're obviously thinking, oh, hope he does. Well. Hope we win. 1-0, own goal. Yeah? Uh, yeah. one nil own goal, that'll do. No, not play great up front. The striker have a nightmare and I'll, I'll get a chance. But I didn't think that... You know, it's a fullback. I could understand you thinking, I hope he doesn't play very well, but we win. But not, I hope he doesn't score, because it, it's not, he's not there to score. Yeah, but mate, so if you think of the, the you, title... Not got, he didn't get on in that game at all, did you? No, didn't get on. That's what I mean. Did you run break. on at the end, though? When yeah, he, yeah, when, when, yeah when, 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 he, when he scored. Yeah. It was just, but it's just... That moment, if you mention Man City title-winning team, yeah. Zabaleta's name would be mentioned in that. Well, quite right, because he's obviously the but best. But I played more. Best... Ga- I played more games in in that in that, in that season. season. Did you? I, you know the six-one at Old Trafford yeah. and all that. I played. I played more games, more starts than him. So it, it hurts. It hurts talking about him, but I respect him. He he. I thought he would make the the, the ten because. <laughs> the, the By the way, he's not even on the list. I know. <laughs> He's going to make headlines for the wrong reasons. <laughs> but yeah, uh, he was, the, the City fans love him as well. Yeah. And they had that, duh, 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 Pablo Zabala. And I'm just on, I'm just on, I'm just on the bench. Only one Micah Richards. Oh, well, that, it's, look, well, that, it's crap though, isn't it? That's like, yeah. there's no thought gone into it. Okay. Like you had a good song, didn't you? What, what, what <laughs> was yours? Man United, they sing. Oh, yeah, oh, <laughs> Man United one. I thought you just meant Shearer. <laughs> Shearer. Shearer. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, anyway, you asked my uh, 10 to 6. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, uh, Asprilla, number 10. Yep. Uh, number 9. I've gone Waddle, but he looked like a character. And I, because I didn't oh, really see him play he that much, he's, he, that's why yeah. he's. Uh, number nine, Latis. Yep. Number eight. Yep. Number seven, Akotcha. And number six, Ginola. Okay. Yeah, a lot of Newcastle players around. Mm. Yeah, starting with um, Aspria, you you wouldn't have known. I know. I, I remember him. You remember him. I right? remember him. Yeah. I just remember him being weird. Not not weird, but <laughs> he's just a sort of. I don't know, he was all legs and arms, yeah. wasn't he? But he was a very good player. He was playing up front with you that season, and, yeah. wasn't he? And I just remember him doing... A, was, if there is such a thing, he was a nice lunatic. Yes. He that, was, uh, really? Yeah, was, what was he like? Come on. He was brilliant. I mean, yeah. what a, it was brilliant for the dressing room because he, he was a character. He, was, he loved a laugh and a joke. Um, and he could do no wrong in the dressing room, really, because he didn't speak... A lot of English. <laughs> it was once where clocks go forward or back, and uh, I was last out of the dressing room one on the um, Saturday. And don't forget, clocks go back, but actually they went forward. Oh, so you, I told him. Did you? And you told course, him they went back. Yeah, I told him the opposite <laughs> way around. So we're meant to be in training. <laughs> deliberately, <obviously>. Deli- <laughs> deliberately. So we're in training the next oh. day, and of course Tino rocks in <laughs> an, hour, an hour late, two hours late. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at everyone, he walks onto the train and pitch and he says, and Shearer! <laughs> <laughs> Not only was he a court so, hero, he's also accurate. Yeah, in his, he was, um, yeah, so. Um, in his judgments of players. But he was, uh, <laughs> he was brilliant to have in the. Uh, yeah. he was brilliant to have you're in quite the spicy, you, aren't you, Alan? Yeah. You know, you all come all prim and, prim and proper on the BBC and, you know, <laughs> great analysis and all that nonsense, but off air. Only to you're quite a f- horrible <laughs> <night>. <laughs> Have you not seen him play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. Oh, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. Else. It's funny. <laughs> oh, let's move on to um, uh, Chris. Chris Waddle. Did you, did you see much of Chris? No, no I didn't. I didn't. The same age as me. Yeah. Uh, again, again, videos. But I couldn't uh, yeah. appreciate the the, the player. Who was player. Unbelievable. He was. A dude, dude, he, he didn't look like a footballer because he was kind of. It's a bit lazy floppy and, and lazy, but, and, yeah, but the relationship, I I love playing with him. I did a bit of radio with him. Yeah. Uh, did you understand him? Not, not he's particularly. Very strong, Jordan. He's very, he's very he's good strong. Though. He's good. On, he knows he's the just, game. He was just a nice, nice, yeah. nice bloke. Yeah. You exactly. know, you get some of them people who are just horrible. Yeah. But he, he was, he was nice. one of the main reasons. Absolutely, one of the main reasons I signed for Spurs um, when I left Barcelona. Because I had a few choices we talked about before, but. And then, then I did the deal, and then I was on holiday um, in the Caribbean. <laughs> the news, the story, 
on holiday in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> I always pay all my, you know, everything. Don't start those games. Tax dodging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't have off guard! He's all this Mago Richards, isn't he? Tell you what, he's treading on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I got a phone call from my agent saying they've just sold Chris Waddle to Marseille for four and a half million. Oh. Oh. It was like someone snatching 15 goals a season out, mm. out, of my, out of my pocket. Speaking of Marseille as well, um, they, they, they love, him, they love he's him. He's a cult hero there, by the way. Yeah. He's yeah. one of their most popular players, probably after <clears throat> Papan. <laughs> Maybe really? in, in the history. Yeah, well, it's got Chris Waddle to, uh, at Sh to Sheffield Wednesday, but uh, yeah. I mean, wherever he's played, wherever. everyone Tottenham, will talk Newcastle. very, very highly of him. Yeah. What a footballer. Yeah. Unbelievable. And he was one of those as well. He's one of those. Wingers used to drive me batty. I don't know about You played with a couple of great ones, didn't you, at, um, yep. at Blackburn? And, uh, but if you get a winger that you know what they're going to do it and they'll whip it in. Oh, Job's he was, easier, and he'd just go like that, and then I knew exactly when to time my run because you knew he wasn't going to go check back on that side, yeah, check yeah, back yeah. on that. He'd just whip, and his quality was was um, great. And he was he was the only also the only person. We'll come on to Gaza. I'm sure he'd be quite high up in your list. Um, he was the only person that could room with Gaza. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how he did it. He did it for years with England. <laughs> I don't know about Tottenham and stuff before I got there, but he. He actually roomed. Imagine rooming with Impossible. Gaza. I mean, he only sleeps about two hours a night. He'll wake up and doing all sorts Impossible. of madness and nonsense. My so... room was two doors away from Gaza and asked to move because I could hear him every night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? The night, yeah. What was you hearing? Was way too close. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikey. So that's um, Matt Letizia, another player, probably slight, everyone slightly before your time. But... No, we, I, I, I watched him. You ever uh, seen his goal reel? Yeah, his, his goal's <laughs> ridiculous. The best um, goal. I've got he's him technique. a lot higher. Yeah, his, his yeah, his well, technique. You, you, I played with you him. Played at, with him, uh, didn't you? Yeah. How, how good was he? How good was he? he was, um brilliant. He was his natural ability. Just, <laughs> he was so laid back, um, and his the ability that he had, left foot, right foot, touch, technique, control. I mean, everything. Yeah. The only I say the only only thing that you'd say was maybe possibly heading, but everything else. And he probably. Wouldn't be the hardest working. No, I mean, he, he, if, he, if he had a manager that, yeah, he, he always, he, I mean, he loved Alan Ball because Alan Ball sort of let him build the team around him. That's let what him you've do got to do with players like yeah. that. It's like Glenn Hoddle. If you have to play him in the mid middle of a, you know, two players in the midfield where they've got to do that, they, in the I mean, modern I, game they'd be yeah. fine because you'd fit them in because of their talent. Yeah. You just, I was lucky enough to, to play in the same team as at, him at, uh, at Southampton, and he just didn't give a. About anything or anyone, he was that laid back. He just and he had he had just had so much natural ability. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I mean, he was so loyal to Southampton as well. That's why I've got him higher because I'm sure there would have been times over, have you over got the him? years. I've got him as number two. Two as high as wow. that. Yeah. The Southampton fans. Why did Why did he leave Southampton though? Did he have choices to go elsewhere? I'm sure, he did have choices many a time, yeah. but uh, he loved the area. He loved the football club. It was his club. Um, came from Guernsey when he was a uh, when he was a youngster, uh, was brought up in the old apprenticeship, um, and that's why they love him because yeah, he was that loyal channel, to the football it's, club. Yeah. There's another player, isn't there? Name him. Lasso. Lasso, very good. I knew you'd get that. Um, you, would you have got that? Yes, I would have got that. Yeah, yeah. I Seen yeah. videos of him. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Matt Letizia was. I mean, he's top scorer of the. Greatest goals, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, you're right. You said about. Have you seen his his video oh. reel of uh, yeah of his greatest ever goals? It's I mean, it's, it's redonkulous, isn't it? It's like ridiculous. I like that. That's a good word. Ridonkulous. Um Another player with an unbelievable natural ability, J J. -J. J, -J. So mm. good they named him twice. twice yes. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Jose Kocha. Brilliant. He Bolton. Was, he, was, he was top notch, though. Yeah. You wouldn't have seen him as a big Sam kind of player, would no, you? No, I was going to say that. Yeah, yeah. he wouldn't. But, but Sam had those, had three or four of those, yeah. didn't he? It uh, was it Her Herrero at, the, uh, at Bolton as well. Yeah. He had a few top players, didn't he, at Bolton? Joe Kayev. Joe, what a uh, Joe Kayev. Okay. Yeah. What a baller he was. Yeah. Um, did I, I, did I, I don't know if I played against JJ Okocha. I remember watching him a lot. Mm. He just when I remember that one, he just flicked it over the guy's head. But he just he was so calm with it. 
he's one of the most skillful, and he's he's loved he's loved in Bolton as yeah. well. So he probably could have gone a little bit higher. I've got him in at what number seven, <clears throat> but I think there's there's, there's 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 better above him. Yeah, it's it's a difficult one to work out the order of, isn't it? Co is you know how because you you put into it you know how good a player they were for the club, but also how big a personality. See. And it's 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 not the easiest one to decide your top ten van. Yeah, we don't care. Frankly, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. A They're culture. all brilliant players. Oh, he just made it sometimes the the most the difficult things he made look easy, didn't he? I mean, as you mentioned, the flicking over the head and. I mean, I must have tried that a million times and never come off once. Not on a pitch and even in training, but he could do it in a match, couldn't he? Because you had hair back then. <laughs> yeah, it was in my eyes, yeah. <laughs> Look out the but, yeah, natural ability, gifted, um, superb player. Yeah. David Ginola, another um, former Newcastle player, at, um, Tottenham Villa. Um, Beautiful looking, wasn't he? Fantastic. Oh, he's gorgeous. Oh, he's, <laughs> he was brilliant. You know, he yeah. just—he was cool, wasn't he? Yeah, I've spent—I've spent a bit of time with with David. Yeah. Um, yeah, and um, just leave him to it, really. He got he's smooth. <laughs> he's smooth. What, 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 was it? Was it? Was he moody though? You was there with him. Was he? Mo was he? Yeah. He just—he he looked he was that moody like when sometime. I worked with him once. He was moody. I worked with him as um, it was the World Cup final in '98. You know when they won the World Cup, France and. Um, he was left out quite. He was left out the squad, and it was quite a big deal that he was left out the squad for that World Cup. And um, Des Lynam was the present, main presenter then. And I was kind of number two presenter at that point, and um, I was given the job of, um, of going to the World Cup final. I was in the ground, um, but I guess with David Ginola, you know, when they did pitch side reports and stuff, and. Um, and he did the best job ever of disguising the fact that he was absolutely <laughs> gutted. <laughs> you could see it in his face when they scored and stuff, you could see him. And it understandably, oh, yeah, I mean, you imagine, imagine being oh. missing out on the World Cup winning squad even, but that not is... not just the team, but the squad. And you could, and he, 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 I felt for him on that day and he had to pretend to be happy. And I'm sure half of him was pleased for his country, of course he was, but inside. And I don't know this, he never said anything to me. But you just do, do, you kind of know. Do you think we pundits though? That, it's like that, Jimmy agrees with England, isn't it? He's, it yeah. You could see that it hurts. Well, it has to. It has to go, I mean, it's just natural, isn't it? Yeah. But do, do, you don't want no one breaking your record. Let's be honest, dear. You? you know, like if Kane goes on to break your no, goal scoring I, I, record. I, I, do you think that? Do you really? Would that bother you? Of course it would. It's, it's nice to have the record, but what it does and what you'll see is every time someone gets close to your record, it reminds people that you've got the record. Because yeah. there'll come a point, and it's probably already there almost with you, where people go, oh, I used to play. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm serious. Well, like my case. Yeah. Yeah. But but to... hell, I've had that for three years. <laughs> 13 years. <laughs> No, I meant with him remembering us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. But it's true, though. It's true, though, because as each time Kane gets, a, a, like, two more goals like he did at the weekend, yeah. up comes the chart. Oh, look who's at the top of it, Alan Shearer. Which, you know, we, we have fun at it, but it's a lovely thing to see, and, it, and, and you see it more, and it, eventually someone... It'll go. It'll yeah, but, go because but, players score more frequently nowadays. Yeah, but with you don't bar, have to be bitter penalties. about it, do you? You can... Well, he won't be bitter. You know, like, I, I think with, with, with Pundit... The Pundit, though, they're always like, oh, they want him to do... No, no, you don't want him to do well. You see all these ex-players and all... Really they want them do, to... The, you you see want Pundit, him to do well. Say Pundits now. Yeah, talk that. about Man United. You might as well just be honest. You don't need to be bitter. There's a difference between being bitter oh, yeah, and, yeah. and honest, isn't there? But everyone... You know, when you hear Pundits say, oh... Yeah, it'd be so nice if he breaks my record, and I'm just no. Why? Why would it be nice? <laughs> you, you, For you, the reasons you, you I've don't just do, you don't mentioned. do this. You don't do this for fun. You, when you start in your career. <laughs> You get to a certain level, you think, well... You don't do I, this for fun. No, you do that's this because... you start playing football, is it? For no, fun and no, the no, joy no, of that's it. That's what I mean. But then you get to a, the Premier League level, yeah. you start scoring goals that you do, and you say, well, well I want to be the best at this. Yeah, so, of course, so yeah. You, And then you don't want someone taking over that. Your, your, your record might never be beaten. And you'd, you'd want that to, to last as, as long as possible. You don't want to congratulate Kane, oh, well done, you know, you beat my record. I hope... I, I... Well, I've had it for 28 years, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, never, he never mentions it. So. <laughs> How many goals is it? <laughs> yeah, but... 
Uh, it's, it's, it, no, it's funny. It's like when with, with the England... I mean, I didn't beat Bobby Charlton in the end, but it's like when Rooney went and went past it and it, it, the little charts got... And, it, mm. and it's, you'd be amazed how many people go... Oh, you, you, oh, you, don't just, you don't just eat crisps and, and, and talk on match of the day. You actually used to, used to play the game. And, it's, um, and, and it'll be the same when the World Cup comes around. And if, if Harry Kane scores a few, he'll start to beat, get close to my World Cup finals record of 10 what? goals. <laughs> This is the mini niche. I tell you what, we, you, oh, we were great. We were. <laughs> did, did we end up with some ropey old Did you know he missed a penalty to get an England record? Did you really? No, it was a terrific save. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he tried to do? He tried to dink it. You didn't. You didn't <laughs> try it. Please tell me you tried to, try to dink it. Out the goalkeeper Can we get a video Brazil? of this when we were, uh, when oh, we're doing don't it? Worry. The video's been seen many times. It's, well, well, I've not seen it's, it. It's, it's, it's cringeworthy and embarrassing. But why did you try? What was going through your mind? Please, enlighten me. It was me. a friendly, so it wasn't... Well, just before the tournament. It was against Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> against <laughs> Brazil? I don't know if you tried to... If I was Brazilian, didn't he? It's right. It's right. You got carried away. It's the England record. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is embarrassing, Gary. I mean, how you're stupid trying, is that? You tried to dink it. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? Oh, for a record, you tried to do. Oh my word! Getting over it. Well, just uh, as a matter of interest, <laughs> throughout the rest of your career, how, how many others did you try and dink? Five or six. Did you? Yeah. All oh, right. And oh, how yeah. many were successful? Um, all but one. <laughs> all but one. <laughs> I'd done it quite frequently because you've got to vary your penalties a little bit. And I quite like the dinky one. And I actually thought it'd be nice to. The dink. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice to do the Penenka now. Look a bit, you know, look classy. I was just, I was an idiot. I, but the thing is, but the thing is, their keeper, I'd seen him and he go, he always went early. And I thought, I'll dink it. But I, and I always practiced, but stop laughing. <laughs> just for like two seconds. It's not that funny. <laughs> it actually oh, is funny. funny. <laughs> so we, I used to practice, like Alan did, used to practice the pencil I was going to hit in the game. And I'd practice the dink all week before at Burnham Beaches where there was no grass, right? And I was just flicking, and I see everyone. So I get on Wembley and the penalty, I thought, right, okay, no, I'm doing, dinky dink, no problem at all. Come in, and, and, and I, because there's loads of grass on the Wembley thing, I kind of just decelerated a little bit, like, you know when you chip in, mm? And caught it a bit fat. And actually only just reached the goalkeeper. In fact, he did dive early. He had so much time, though, to dive early and get up and probably do a few keepy-uppies and then pick the ball up. For a record. I and thought, then, but, then went into, you said, yeah. Uh, you, yeah. Went into the tournament and never scored, <laughs> never scored, never played again. Apart from that, he had a great England career. <laughs> Give me all the uh, ammunition I need for my own air, to be honest. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Where was we? Where That's we, why yeah. I was never a cult hero. <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> Oh, God, how depressing. Now you come to think, why didn't I just hit it in the oh, corner? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Been a legend. <laughs> you were a different... You... <laughs> I won't say that. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> what? Uh, I was going to say you were definitely C dot dot T, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big one. <laughs> totally agree. Totally agree. Right, um, we're talking about Jinla, weren't we, when we, yeah. we got... I don't know. How, we, how the hell did you get to that? Yeah, you know, we were talking about this. What was he like to play with? Frustrating at times, yeah. but unbelievable ability. I mean, in frustrating he, he, in what way? Well, because he could twist and turn, and and I yeah. I, I wanted yeah. wingers Time in the to run, nut, crossing. To, yeah, exactly. I, when I made my run as a forward, I wanted to know the yeah. ball was coming in, yeah. and it it it, uh, it didn't at times because he you was had that to have good. You a word with him, beat. didn't you? Didn't you tell us about? Yeah, we had. Um, we've said it once. So yeah. we had been been had been at Newcastle for five or six games, and no balls had been coming in. So we had it out in the dressing room at half time. And, I had my say and he had his, and yeah. then it what, was did all right. it was all what did you right. say? What did you say? What did you say? I said, David, would you politely, would you mind putting, start putting some crosses into the box, please? That's what I like. You're always gentlemanly. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. Like, and what did he say? He said, "Fuck off." You know? <laughs> uh, Absolutely fantastic. Uh, on that note, Al, yeah. your top. Well, ten to six. Mine uh, was Aspria, number yeah. ten. Yeah. Uh, Who've I gone for? Where have I gone? Nine. Nine, nine was David Ginola. Oh, yeah, done that. Eight was Chris Waddle. Waddle, yeah. Seven was uh, Balotelli. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
We'll save that. And six was JJ Kocha. Kocha, right. OK, I'll tell you, might as well go straight on, because you've only got um, Balotelli in there that's different from, mm. from the others. So give us five to one. Five was Paolo Di Canio. Yeah. Four was uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Three was Gaza. Only three. Mm. Third. Two, Matt Letizia. Yeah. Ooh, and one, Eric Cantona. Yes. Cantona's won a few of our things, yeah, hasn't he, over the, over the period. We, Micah? Uh, number five, five was uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Oh, yeah. Number four, Di Canio. Number three, Gaza, same as Alan. Number two, Cantona. Ooh, I'm going to have to make another decision. Mm -hmm. yeah. Balotelli. Well, I thought that might happen. <laughs> I thought that will save Balotelli for Ooh. a little bit even though Alan had him way down at seventh, obviously. Right, um, fifth and fourth, Di Canio, Paolo Di Canio. Um, <laughs> yes, I can see why he's... Uh, yeah, I mean, his character. He was unbelievable. Was he unbelievable. pushed the ref? Pushed that was oh, great. That was, was hilarious. That? Wasn't that funny? It's hilarious. He, and he went down, didn't he? went down too the, easily. It's only a little bit of contact. <laughs> Do you think VAR would have looked at that and gone, oh, yeah. turn the decision round? <laughs> how, how long did, did he, he get for that? the ref or send him off? Did he do anything the ref? I can't remember. Of course he, he would have been sent off. Of sent, course he, got sent he, off, he must have got he? sent off. Yeah, and the yeah. Nigel Winton thing, wasn't it? Where yeah, he, 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 he like pretended to go, but he didn't. Yeah. That was nonsense, yeah. that was. I mean, it brings me to Gaza, but you see, when he was in Scotland and he, the ref did something and... Gaz, he, didn't he? Gaz, he got his card. card. <laughs> and and then, he, then he gave him a yellow card back. <laughs> well, do, yeah, in ref. It? Why have refs got a sense of humour? a lot of them. I don't know. They? I don't know what's wrong with them. referees, anyway. But Di Canio was. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, he's. Yeah. Oh, he's, interesting that, personality. I think he would have been. Uh, he would have been very interesting in the dressing room. I think he would have yeah. been amazing in the dressing room. But the, the old. Whoever's. I mean, Wrighty says about him, doesn't he, that he was a great professional. Yeah, did everything right in uh, in training. Um, teacher's pet with Harry at, uh, at, at West Ham, he says, doesn't he? But yeah. uh, teacher's pet was he? I think Harry's so, probably yeah. good at getting the best out of players like that, wouldn't he? Because yeah. he's a little, he, he, he's a he bit that way so himself, many, didn't he? Yeah. he? Signed so many. He signed so many, Harry, didn't he? Like that, where it's the, the, yeah. some players are not easy to manage. Um, yeah. And he's, yeah. he was probably one of them, but yeah. Harry found a knack of doing that. He was in he was in our list for for one of the goals he scored, wasn't he? When we did top ten Premier League goals, the old the, uh, bicycle volley. like the, the, double, yeah. that one, amazing on the volley there, yeah, yeah. So very very good yeah. player. And when, then, when you think of West Ham, you think of the Canio, don't you? I would I would say so. No, I think of um, no. Well, no, it depends what, Bobby era, Moore what era. Yeah, well, yeah. Mark, First, he Jeff was top Hurst. top top. Trevor Brookin and. Trevor Brooklyn, I've never, seen, never seen them. You heard of Trevor Brooklyn? Yes, 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 of <laughs> course. He, he works at the FA, or he was at the he FA, did, wasn't he? Did, he was yeah. at the He's a great FA, man, Trevor. Yeah. Loved, he worked for the BBC for many... When you, oh, did he really? You saw him as a pundit when you were growing up. No, oh, never saw on. him. He was a lovely fellow, he was. Oh, he was great. He oh, was a really just nice... absolute gent, absolute gent, Trevor. Gentleman he was. Sir Trevor. Sir, Sir Trevor. Trevor. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer, now, I was... I don't know, I was slightly surprised that he was being in the cult. I don't... I mean, he's not a massive personality. He was... I mean, he was a, obviously a top-class um, striker, scored lots of goals, including, obviously, an enormous one in, in 99. Um, but I was kind of surprised he was in... It's, it's not... You know, don't see him as a kind of yeah, see, mad personality oh, yeah. or... Why is... What, and, and you've both got him in the top five. Why? Well, I just think what you do at what you do at that particular football club and and how important it is um, determines what and who you are. And, and yeah. he 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 was there. A lot for... of players did great things at Man United. Yeah, Why but him? He, be, well, because of what that that goal that he that he scored yeah. in the part yeah. that he uh, that he played in that. Um, and they still sing his uh, sing his name now in terms of what he did as a as a as a player. Yeah. Um, and when you look at the number of players that that football club have had, yeah. for them to still sing his name yeah. for what he did, then... You can tell, though, because of the, the time he's had at the club as well. You remember yeah. when going through that little bit of a sticky yeah. patch? Are they right to stay with yeah. him? Um, yeah, do you, do you think he's... How do you think he's doing? I think he's doing 
very well, yeah. to be honest. He doesn't. Kind of inspired his appointment in, in many ways, wasn't it? Because no one saw it coming. Obviously, it was only meant as a short term thing, but he did so remarkably well. But it was quite clever bringing back an old cult hero, if you like, to kind of bridge that gap. He just and does it became a big enough, gap. Enough, doesn't he? He, you know, you yeah, know every time it looks like it's going wrong, they find it. The PSG yeah. game, it just, it just. Yeah. But now he has to get a lot more respect for his tactics as well, because in the big games as yeah, well, you see what he's done to right. Man City yeah. as well. He's the only one who found a way. I thought I saw Dortmund in the Champions League in that first leg, actually. I think that the way to play against City is have a real go. Just have a go. But, you know, I've seen lots of teams, including my own Leicester, just sat back and... And you're not going to do that for 90 minutes, because they're going to... I mean, obviously, early in the season, Leicester... Had, had a bit of luck and beaten... Well, not a bit of luck, but... but it was a count, it was count, count that attack, was counter Also, attack City, though. at that stage of the season, they were late starting the season and they were slow to find their momentum. I think Ake and Garcia yeah. started that game. Yeah, but well. Oli found, Oli's found a way to play against I City. I think he's done really well. I think yeah. it, it's... If they get into the... Which they're going to they'll get into the top four and qualify for the Champions League. Yeah. You know they had the disappointment of being knocked out this season. Yeah. Um, but then I think... They next, might win the Europa League. Next season, if they don't... They'll have to win a trophy pretty yeah. soon. It's that whole thing and win a trophy, isn't it? Well, the Man United and they have to win trophies. Yeah. But if you so, look when he, when he took over, the amount of job. problems oh, yeah. that they had yeah. and to just galvanise the I think squad. with the team that, they, that they've got, I mean, they're, they're, they're a long way off, off Man City, but when they look at who they're above... Um, but I, I do think that, that trophy will have to come pretty soon, if it doesn't come this season in the Europa League. Yeah, and, and Colt Hero was because yeah. there's so many great Man United yeah. players, but he's the best superstar ever. Best and that goal sub. in 1999 <laughs> yeah. is just brilliant. Gaza! I can't, you wrote in third. I thought, he, I thought he'd be in one or two, but anyway. I, I, he's, only, he's only in my number three because I haven't got no stories to tell, personal stories. I, I didn't suppose play. also he wasn't at one club for a long time, so he's probably the cult hero. Of, but it, I was going to say, every, every club... There's no is, bigger cult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's, he's hilarious, you know, I love He's Gaza. actually sat in, I'm a celebrity as we speak, isn't he, in, in Honduras, it's a, is he really? the Italian one. Yeah. The Italian yeah. one. He's Apparently not. he's going down, surprisingly, a, a storm and, and huge. I mean, he's... He'll win it, won't he? I don't know where to it start with It him. wouldn't surprise He'll me. He'll win it. It wouldn't surprise yeah. me. I mean, but wherever he's played, everyone has yeah. great or fond memories of him. And there's stories at every football club. We've, said, so it, we've said it before, haven't so we, about, about, about him. Yeah. I mean, it would have been a nightmare to have every every single week at your club. With England, it was all right for me because you you, you mm. only seen him every seven to eight weeks or two. <laughs> weeks, whatever. Oh, I play with but him. putting up with him every it's single three day. Three years I was antics, with him. Yeah. Three years. I, honestly, there wasn't a day that went by without something ludicrous happening. Some practical joke that... I mean, Gaza was so funny. It, it just... But, there's a, you know, there's a line and he would cross it. And he would cross it again, and he and it was just the, but it was always so hilarious. And I, I think I've told every well, I don't know. I have to think of fresh ones all the time, but there's so many Gaza stories. Do we, uh, so I'm many. not sure. I said the one about when Robbie Williams come into the dressing room or something. Like that, oh, well, go on. And he kept punching Robbie in the arm. He kept saying, <laughs> "Take that, take that." <laughs> The first time, the first, this is true, first time he was with the England squad, he was like a kid, I don't know, he was 19, 20 or something. We were at Burnham Beaches and it, the game was on, I don't know, the following weekend or something, I can't remember exactly, but we had a golf day. I didn't play golf back then, but we all had to go for the dinner after at the golf club, you know, which was a bit of a pain. And... Um, we all sat around, and at the end, the, the club, the golf club chairman, or whatever he was called, um, got up and did about 10 minutes talking. Oh, oh crikey, let's get home. We just want to get back, just get back to the room, you know, let's get back. And we're all about to leave, and Gaza gets up. He did 40 minutes stand up. <laughs> it, it's the first time he's ever been in the squad. And I remember I was looking at Brian Robson, and we were, he was going, what the f? <laughs> Who the f is this? <laughs> but he did four, and he was hilarious. And he was telling jokes and stories, and he was getting words a bit muddled, which made it even funnier. Yeah. And I was thinking, what the f 
Shorty little fat kids. It's <laughs> like, oh my god. I mean, I got so. I've told this before, but I. It, it, it's. it's the, I, he did amazingly ridiculous and often stupid things, but the work, the one that stands out for me above all else was, which you'd have heard before. But we're at the training ground the day before a game, um, and we were training at midday because we were getting a bus. To, it was a away game somewhere. So we do the training session. We always used to have this guy that come pretty much every day, you know, like the super fan, just do anything for the players, do anything for them. He's quite a wealthy guy. He's, he had his own business, collecting money. But he used to come. I think his name was John, if I remember rightly. And the, the lads treated him awfully, this poor. I mean, they'd like burn his clothes and all that. Oh, terrible. And he would just laugh. He loved it. He didn't care. And Gaz had, had bought his dad um, like a camper van, like a small Winnebago, whatever you call it. And... and and he parked it in the car park. And whenever Gaza got something, whether it was an air rifle, he'd have to, he'd have to show off what he's, come and have a look at what I've bought my dad, the Winnie Bay Brilliant. And, so, and there were some roadworks outside, and Gaza, well, it was weird. We'd finished training, we were waiting for the bus to arrive, and Gaza, Gaza goes out and gets a parking cone from the roadworks, walks up, and on the back of his camper van, there was a little ladder, so he goes up, he pops it up, and he puts the parking cone on top of the on top of the little camper van, gets out, goes and he sits in the driving seat, finds the window down, and we're all kind of muddling around. And this guy John is there. And he goes, John, John, he said someone's someone's put a little corn on me on top of my camper van. He does a favour. He says, go up and get it. So oh yeah, of course, of course, guys. Yeah, of course. So he goes, goes up the back of the ladder, gets to the top. <laughs> 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 goes out the car park. He's hanging on, right? And then he puts his foot down, goes up this street, and he, he's, he's, he's like, ah! And he's, he's like horizontal almost. It's like a cartoon thing. He's, 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 he's horizontal, he's going up the street. And I'm looking at him and going, oh my God, he's going to kill him. Oh my God. And then there's this, it's, we train at Mill Hill, there's this, about 200 yards, there's a little mini roundabout. He went round the mini roundabout like Sterling Moss, and he's like, Aah! and somehow he held on, he comes screeching back, pulls into the car park, and the fella's coming, he's going, <laughs> and as he pulls in the car park, Venables, Terry Venables walks out, and he walks out and he goes, I don't want to be seeing this, do I? And he walked back and went back into the office. <laughs> oh, it was the maddest, most hilarious, most frightening oh, thing I think I've ever seen in my up. life. Oh, my it's word. unbelievable. <sighs> Gaza. What a story that is. Uh, Brilliant. He had to be there, but it was... Yeah. Um, he was mad, but he was... He did stuff in Italy as well. He's done stuff everywhere, didn't he? What was it when he first went? When he first he did an interview when he burped and <laughs> I mean, we shouldn't laugh, but he did the li live, in, live on television. Someone's gone to interview him in Italian. He's <laughs> burped and burped live on television. Did it was purposely or was it on purpose? On purpose, yeah. Of course. Is that one when, when we beat um, Arsenal in the semi final in 91 and um, he scored the wonder goal, yeah, didn't he? Free, free kick. kick. And, um, and at the end of the, the, that interview, which I didn't see at the time because I was playing, but he's going, I have to get my suit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was absolutely mad. Man in the box oh, of frogs, but, um, uh, but so lovable. Uh, righty ho, we've talked about Matthew uh, Letitia. That was um, setting for you, Alan. Um, yeah. And then it's, well, you've got Cantona two and one. You've got Balotelli quite higher up. Balotelli, he's another gazer, isn't he? In a way, he's just he's just brilliant, and I'm always I'm always reluctant to tell stories about it, just because he's still playing. Yeah, but you can tell they're not. There's, there's lots of stories that are terrible. He's, on he's the just. Show. He, I remember. You know, there's a there's a fireworks story. Well, the fireworks thing. Yeah. Inside though, he played inside, inside his apartment, the yeah. house. Yeah. And we, is that is that's right? Is it? He actually but, set the fireworks off in no, no, the but... house. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he didn't mean to. Were you the there? house burned down. No, 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 no. But that's what I mean. It wasn't the first time. Oh. So all what he's done at his house, yeah. he comes to do at my house, and oh, chases me round my house with fireworks. With fireworks. Did you give him a rocket? 
<laughs> so I'm thinking, like, Mario, like... Was he really, though? Why? What? No, because he was just... He, you talked about that Gazza, Gazza and that's that, the sort of thing that Gazza, That's the sort of thing Gazza would it's do. just... Yeah. And I just, I, I couldn't believe it. So you, you, you've got Balotelli chasing you around a house with fireworks. My house. Your house. Yes. With the fireworks lit. With the fireworks lit. <laughs> I mean, why on I... earth would you run? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? it not after he's just, after not he's just burned here, down we're his own talking. house. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know the repairs? The repairs for the house. Because he, he was renting a place. Oh, we must be able to get pictures of it. And I think there was about 30 or 40 grand's worth of, uh, of damage. And people think that's like a myth. That's a real story. Yeah. It's a the... real story, that. Yeah. But yeah, he was just, he was, he was crazy. Yeah. But crazy in a good way. Yeah, but lovable, yeah. Like, and he was on, like... don't forget, when he came to Man City, he would have been 18, 19. Yeah. And you know what you're doing at them ages. You're just well, messing around. Yeah, I was we, only two years above him. You fireworks off in your house. Well, basically, Normally, you... yeah. yeah. Um, and he was just, he was brilliant, brilliant to have around the squad. Yeah. And why he was a cult hero, not for, for that nonsense he did off the field, it's just, he got his only assist it's in the QPR Aguero. game. The only assist. <laughs> And it's for Aguero. Yeah. I'm important. <clears throat> and then he got the two goals in the derby in the 6 1. Yeah. The why always me. And the fans now, even like, oh, are you going to do an interview with Balotelli? Are you going to see a Balotelli? What was he like in, in terms of timekeeping? Was he, was he always late for training or what? Um, he? He, he was bad at the start because he was getting used to it. But then he used to have his brother, his brother came over and lived with him, and his brother used to take him and make sure he was always on. On time, but the fines—it was the fines, wasn't it? So the every time he was late, it was better for us because it was rather going to the Christmas do or for the charity. Yeah. So we wanted him to be late. And I, <laughs> and I, I've done some good parties before, with his fines. I've done it on radio before. The the, the, the the fines were like ten and fifteen grand. There wasn't like a grand. Ten, and it was like if you're late by five minutes more, it'd go up by five grand. Yeah. So it can, was I ask, I, can I ask one thing? Because I'm still absolutely in shock about fireworks in your house. Yes. Did Did you get cross or did you just laugh? I'm laughed. I'm laughed. At, no, I, I, you can't get mad with him. A little you? bit scared, or I was scared. I ran. <laughs> I ran for my life. Yeah. I ran. I was. It was. It was just. <laughs> just you know, what, it was just a bizarre moment. It, it sounds like, quite bizarre. It was just. He yeah. was. He was just mad. But it was crazy. He was trying to do it after just setting yeah. his own house on fire, <laughs> which is like more more bizarre. Yeah, it's fairly bizarre. <laughs> it's but different. Yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah, he's loved. Cult yeah. hero. He's number one. And the best thing about him is that he's a lovely guy as well. Yeah. He's not. Yeah. He's not arrogant. He's not. Uh, you know how the papers try to perceive yeah. him. He's nothing like that. He's just, just a bit mad. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just a, a bit, bit mad. mad. Yeah. So that's why he's. You've got to be slightly different to put set fireworks off in your house and then chase people <laughs> around the money. So yeah, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> Cantona seems remarkably boring now. <laughs> um, but, no, but Mark, yeah. you've got him second, you've got him first, so yeah. he will he he wins this um, particular category. He's won one or two of our uh, categories. Um has has Eric. <clears throat> well, um if you can if you <laughs> I was gonna say if you've got the balls to go and jump and feet first into the crowd <laughs> because someone's abusing you, then you've got to be slightly bonkers, aren't you? Yeah. Um but I think that was remarkable. And then the stuff when you remember the um, the press conference with the seagulls on the trawler, following the trawler, yeah. the trawler. Yeah. why they follow them. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, didn't, I didn't. What was that one? I didn't. I, I, I remember the flying kick. Yeah, the flying kick. Well, it, it was what happened then. He was he obviously got the monster band, didn't he? Yes. Like, and then they did. He did a press conference, and and he just came in and he said that I can't remember the exact so it's, you wording. Know, you know why there's something like they know why the seagulls follow the trawler. Yeah. In other words, everyone. Because throwing the fish and all that. Ah, no, it, was, okay. it was, yeah, it was I kind didn't of, see you that. could kind of work out what he meant. What I he meant by it. About the media and stuff, I think he was having a go, but it was kind of, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? what you about? A bit random, a bit bonkers. But, yeah, but in terms of the fans yeah. loving him oh. and what he did for the, uh, for the club, um, I mean, we had him in, in uh, transfer bargains, didn't we, from Leeds to Man United, yeah. but in, in doing that. He sort of changed. He changed that football club, or helped change it, didn't he? And then everyone sort of looked up to him. He was he was their leader. Do you know we played against him? 
We did. Did he we? He played in that. I saw the footage not oh, quite right. recently of the um, one of two times that we played together. We played half a game, yeah. your debut at Wembley, which you scored in the first half, mm -hmm. and then I scored in the second half. <laughs> and um, we, we beat France 2-0, who, who Platini was manager, and they'd been on a long, long run, hadn't they? And, yeah. and Cantona played in that game. Uh, um, I forgot about that. Yeah. I didn't realise that. Which is, yeah. I think, a yeah. great place to finish. Um, <laughs> Which, uh, it's been a lot of fun, uh, a lot of characters to talk about, and um, not just you two, <laughs> not just you two. Um, that was a lot of fun. Don't forget, as always, you can have uh, your say, hashtag uh, MOTD top 10, and just share a few of your stories if you've got any. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>